Hi everyone, it's time for Saturday Stories with Miss Sharon. Happy Saturday! Last week in our Spark Story Bible, we read a story about Ruth and Boaz. And this week in our Story Bible, we're reading about a woman named Hannah who always wanted to have a baby. Let's find out what happens in this story called Hannah Prays for a Child. Hannah dreamed of having a baby to love and to hold. She dreamed of singing lullabies to him until he fell asleep in her arms. But year after year passed and Hannah had no baby. Her friends laughed at her and called her names. Hannah cried and cried. And even though she was sad, Hannah prayed in the temple every day. She prayed, oh God, if you give me a son, I will make sure that he spends his life serving you. Eli, the priest at the temple, watched Hannah as she prayed. Her lips moved quickly, but she didn't make a sound. He thought this was very strange, so he said to her, stop acting so silly. Oh no, sir, Hannah said, I'm not acting silly. I'm praying to God because I want to have a baby. Eli looked into her eyes and said to her, Go in peace. God will give you what you're asking for. Hannah trusted in God, and soon her tears turned into joy. God gave her a son, and she named him Samuel. Hannah was so happy. She laughed and danced and kissed Samuel all over his little face. She sang lullabies to Samuel, and she held him close as he fell asleep. And soon, it was time for Hannah to keep the promise that she had made to God. When Samuel was still a boy, she took him to Eli at the temple. She said, I'm the woman who was here praying to God to have a baby. And God gave me a son, Samuel. Now he will spend his life serving God. Samuel stayed at the temple with Eli. He grew and grew and grew, and he served God every day of his life. Think how happy Hannah must have been when God gave her a baby that she'd been praying for for so long. You know, so often we pray for something for a long time, and when we finally get what we've been praying for, do we remember to be thankful to God? Hannah remembered. She remembered to be thankful and she remembered to honor her promise to God by taking Samuel to live in the temple so that he could learn to serve God. In the Bible, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, it reminds us of this. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So always remember to be thankful to God for the blessings that he gives you, remembering that every good and perfect thing is from heaven. I'll see you next week.